guys, how's it going? We are here with Greg Whitstock and a huge team. Yes, a great team. Oh, huge, amazing team of talented designers and uh, pond installers and... I don't, so these are certified aquascape contractors yeah. from all over the country, Knoxville, Tennessee, New York, Utah, um, Oregon, and this is an invite only for your, for your build. Some of these guys are past Artists of the Year winners. We have one guy that was a DIY oh. a winner that did oh, the best cool. DIY uh -huh. winner. and. Uh, so we've got a talented group of people. Brian is leading us. Brian's mm -hmm. been with me for 28 years. Oh, so, incredible. you know, you got to meet Brian when we built yes. your first water feature that unfortunately got moved because of the beautiful greenhouse. <laughs> so this we'll is- We'll put it back in. Hey, listen. Every plan. You know what? Water, the, the, the sound of this water is gonna be so fun. So for me, this is just fantastic because I get to share my passion, mm -hmm. which is as the pond guy, which is show, showing how people can live the aquascape lifestyle and having you do this with all of your fans and the water lilies that we brought up. Oh, you guys, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be so so good and today is rock day today today we is the main muscle day and then more of the finesse tomorrow mm -hmm. and then of course the landscaping on Wednesday and the fish and plants we're gonna go pick up some fish and plants because I'm super excited it's for Benjamin gonna, it's gonna be like complete yes it's gonna be a yeah. complete aquascape ecosystem water feature mm -hmm. that is the whole goal of the ecosystem water features to work with mother nature and not against her mm -hmm. and so this is perfect for your environment here and it will change the space more than anything else you've ever done here I'm so excited so excited to have everybody here so you guys today there they're going to be they're kind of working right now on just finishing up some lines and then they're gonna put the pond liner in and then start carving in all of these big boulders it's gonna be a really exciting day because I think we're gonna see a lot of the form of it come together I mean we can kind of see the outline here but to see you know with all of those big beautiful lichen covered stones it's gonna be glorious huge shout out to green source of Idaho uh, because they are the ones who provided the rock that's Chris Schreiner, Schreiner who owns it and he's actually not here yet today he will be here shortly he's picking up some more great big boulders and some smaller ones too to kind of do some fill-in design work so anyway he is local to this area so he's gonna be our point man like if we have any any issues or anything like that he's gonna be able to come here and help us out he's gonna help us put in the pondless waterfall again He's a wonderful, wonderful man and super, super wonderful to work with. So we will link everybody, you guys, down below this video. So definitely check, check everybody out. So here we go for day two. P.S. I just realized I forgot to turn on my mic for the first part. So hopefully everything sounds okay to you guys. Anyway, the wind's not blowing, so we should be okay. But they are revving up the machines at the moment. They are rolling out the pond liner. They, these guys get to work. Oh, here we go. Also, we have several of the people who are here today, they are filming as well. So make sure to check out from the links below, check out their channels because they will have a little bit of a different perspective probably because we're all standing in different spots. They're even bigger. <laughs> Just wait. If you could even <laughs> imagine that. <laughs> It's always a good, a good when the liner fits. What, what size liner? <laughs> Forty by sixty. Nice. So, Laura, do you yes. know what this liner is originally from? Where? What industry? Do you know? No. 
roofing. Oh, really? But it is fish grade, so it's EPDM, okay. ethylene propylene diamond monitor, 40 mil, mil, 45 mil thick, mm -hmm. and uh, it's got a 20 year guarantee in full sun, and when we put it into with rocks and gravel mm -hmm. on top of it, it'll be 60 years. Sure. And uh, But it's fish grade. Awesome. You can't use roofing liner because it's got algicides and chemicals on it that would sure. be toxic to the fish and since we're putting fish in this is a fish grade EPDM 45 mil liner. Nice. Let's get a close up look at that. Materials here. We should break. Yeah, that is sturdy. <laughs> All right guys, so a little progress report here. They have lined the pond. They have placed a ton of boulders and they're using like a river rock, I think is what it's called. This is a round, smaller rocks to set all these great big boulders so that they sit in just the exact right position. And I can see each one of them kind of like eyeballing with what they're, or where they're setting these rocks um, so that they look perfect. And I just love the placement of every single one. And then right along the front, we'll walk over there. They are building kind of a retaining wall uh, I'll have to ask Chris again what the technical term of it is, but they're using these concrete blocks and they're really spending a lot of time on the first layer to make sure it's perfectly level because if you're even slightly off once you know you build up from that, then it's kind of bad news. So they uh, have been really meticulous about that. And the reason why they're building that right in the front, it's by this, where the seating area is going to be. And um, that's where we can sit on the edge and put our feet in. Uh, yeah, and the fish can uh, swim right up to the front so we can feed them easily. Let me show you. It looks like they are starting the second layer. So you can see this is the first layer here. And there won't be great big boulders and stuff right up on this part. It'll be kind of more clean, clean edge and water right up to it. So there's like a large and there's a small, medium, medium and small. small. So it's what we call a three piece. Uh-huh. Right? So the trick is that they're doing it right now. They're making sure the line, it doesn't line up with the next row. So we don't have this cross line. So that's what helps retain it. Okay. And it's pin set. Okay. You put fence in there, set it, locks it in. Perfect. Those blocks are a Shelton three-piece wall from Belgard. Thoughts, Aaron? <laughs> it's coming along pretty quick. It's amazing. I just wiped my face like this. Somehow I had black grease. Oh, like did I, you? I got it all over my teeth, like up my nose. <laughs> I don't know what the heck. I've probably been walking around like that for a while. Nobody said anything. The big stones have arrived. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, guys, everybody is taking a breather for lunch. They have been working so, so hard. So I wanted to show you how it's looking right now, midday. I cannot believe how much they have gotten done. I mean, you can tell these crews are professional and they know what they're doing because they just wail into these things. And, and these are big rocks and moving big machines around. It's incredible. All right, look at this. So they started in at that lowest level and set multiple different sizes of stone. And then you can see they brought in some of the river rock and then they started setting, you know, some a little bit higher. And all the while there was a couple of guys working on this retaining wall here and they've got it almost done. I think there's gonna be some lights maybe. I'm not sure. I think I saw a light around here somewhere. And then they've set a couple of giant stones. That is enormous. I think that they were saying this one is over 3,000 pounds, I'm guessing. There's one. This one I think is like 3,800 pounds. And then you can't really see it, but right where I'm pointing, right there, that's where the waterfall starts. So it'll start up higher than those big stones. It'll come down and they're setting that flat stone right there. That'll be over the top or it'll be nested kind of down below the tops of those and behind those two rocks. So there'll be water spilling down and I think they're gonna have a side chute come off. I'm not really sure how it's gonna come together, but so far, beautiful. And can you believe, I mean, just the amount of manpower that's here, how much is done. This is an absolute treat because you guys know when we do other projects, it take, typically takes months and that's kind of what we're used to. So to see something like this happen in days, oh, it's pretty awesome. I feel very spoiled, that's for sure. All right, <laughs> we found four or five stumps and logs for Laura's here just at this uh, tree yard. It's that long one right there and this one, it's just, we're looking for character, uh, stuff that's gonna be hard. It's not gonna have a lot of soft spots on it. And yeah, and we're loading them up in the brand new trailer from Eco Lake and bringing them back to Laura's. Perfect. So this is like a little gold mine. We're mining gold. I can already envision how this hollow log is going to get used for Laura and her plants. It's so fun. So we just got back from the tree yard, you know, where they do all the mulch and everything else. And they're like, you want what? I'm like, we want some big stumps and some cool root balls. They're like, oh, okay. So it's really funny. I'm, the guy's like, how, how much you want to pay for this? And I'm like, well, how much you want to charge? He goes, I was, I was thinking 200 bucks, 300 bucks. He goes, ah, 50 bucks. Are you kidding me? So they got all of these logs for 50 bucks from, you know, they were going to turn them into mulch anyway. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you a question. What can you see this being? Oh my gosh, well. And that's the bottom. So we flip it over. Oh. That weighs a lot. So we could fill this up. And then what's really cool is there's a little branch on here a little you not only can put stuff on the top like but there's a little side chute on the bottom now of yeah, course yeah. and then bit. and then these you know root balls we're going to put in this big log going around the back benjamin could run over you know oh, jump yeah. off it yeah. so now these are the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle mm -hmm. how the other artists put them together but look look at this little seat is this not a perfect seat for the kids sitting right there oh yeah it is how fun so they'll 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 incorporate this and this is what we do we usually get logs you know, and it's just all, you know, water, rock, wood, plants. It's all just putting it together. So how these are going to go into the jigsaw puzzle is anybody's guess. Uh -huh. But now the artists have these six pieces to pick from. Oh, that is so cool. There it is. Oh, look at that. Oh, and that's beautiful. The color. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah, that's gorgeous. So imagine some color is popping out of here with a... Yeah. Or maybe a potato vine to grow. Uh-huh. A little lush. Yeah, but that's Green. your job. I'm, my job is to pick the, bring the pieces. Your job oh, is to... Oh, I can do to, it. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll place it. Okay, they just jumped right back into work. We just took a look at the stumps and things that Greg went and picked up in Boise. I wonder where he got off to this morning. Um, but this is what he was doing. Pretty amazing. And you know, last time when they built the waterfall, they had some pieces of, of wood just like this. It's smaller scale, of course, uh, for the size that it was. And I have to admit, in the beginning, I was kind of like, I don't know if I'm gonna love that. That seems a little bit rustic, you know, that sort of thing. And I loved it. I think it was one of the more important parts to me in that waterfall because it made me, made me feel like I was actually standing there in a mountain sort of scene rather than, it just seemed more natural rather than, you know, like a manufactured thing. So anyway, I'm excited about it. All right, so we're just gonna continue on here.
right guys, so we are wrapping up day two of pond installation and it's intense and it's gorgeous. And Brian is gonna walk us through what they got done today. I knew we'd get a lot done with this team, but I didn't think we'd get this much done. Like it's basically rocked in. We've got the entire pond rocked in. We got this wall done in here. This is gonna be great. You're gonna be able to come right here, dangle your feet off the edge. Uh, it'll be awesome for Ben to be able to just kind of jump in yeah. and kind of walk mm -hmm. around in here. We've even got lights put in down and through here. Our waterfalls are framed in out over in that space there. That's going to look incredible. Oh, yeah. Our intake bay has started. The intake bay again is the area where all the pumps and stuff sit. So that water is going to come. <laughs> oh. <laughs> our intake bay is kind of roughed in. John got the pumps and stuff in, so the pumps are actually installed. We just have to decorate this with some more rock work. Mm -hmm. We've got a cool stump put in over there. Yeah, that I love. Like, and we're gonna get all these aquatic plants growing up around it. It just looks amazing. And then look at the size of some of these big rocks over here. I can't wait to see what this waterfall looks like. The idea is most of the water comes from here, but we found this little space right in here. So if we can get water to kind of trickle oh, over this, yes. it would just be great. Oh, that will be awesome. A light is installed down there. So I'm just, I love the way it came together. Again, awesome team. Uh, the weather was really nice in the morning. They got hot again. It did. Right? And then it was gusting for <laughs> a while. Yeah, then it was gusting for a while. Uh -huh. But uh, I love where we're at. I think it's a perfect time to call it a day and uh -huh. we'll hit it hard tomorrow and finish this thing up, I think effortlessly tomorrow and yeah. then we can play with plants. Awesome. Right? Thanks, awesome. Brian. All right, guys, so we are all going to um, shower and <laughs> clean up and get ready for dinner. Everyone's gonna come back here and we're gonna enjoy some dinner together, but I'm just thrilled with this project. They're doing such an amazing job and to watch these guys work, it's, it's just incredible. They just are so fast and so efficient and they're doing a beautiful job. So we will be back tomorrow for day three, which will include finish work around the edges. We're going to fill the pond. We're also gonna go get some pond plants and some fish. Uh, we're gonna get some koi to put in there. So it should be a really great day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.